Hey, this is Kyle Frankie for isotopetheory.com. And today we have a little tutorial on Real Smart Motion Blur and exporting vectors from Cinema 4D and then utilizing them in After Effects with the Real Smart Motion Blur Pro Vectors plugin. So right here we just have my logo and it's just kind of spinning and, and what you can see here is, um, you know, the motion blur is actually uh, working quite well on the edges and this is something that has taken me a long time to kind of figure out. There's not very much out there and uh, what I want to do is just show you guys exactly how to do it the right way from start to finish. So I'll just jump into Cinema 4D here and show you, it's just a quick two keyframe rotation. And jump into the settings for rendering and let me just go ahead and delete the things that I've preset up here. And basically what we're gonna wanna do is go in to the multi-pass rendering settings and add a RGBA pass as well as a motion vector pass. Okay, and then also you can choose to, in the new version of Cinema 4D, you can have a multi-layered file and then extract each layer. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a multiple passes so that they're not all synced up because I know some people don't have version 13. One more thing to note, I want to export with a straight alpha. That's just how I work. Some people want to use a mat, but I enjoy to have a clean alpha with no mat. So then just go ahead and import the RGB uh, sequence. RGBA sequence as well as the motion vectors and this is what the motion vectors sequence looks like it's a multicolored image and basically the um, program is going to interpret the different colors as speeds and direction so we'll just go ahead and drop the RGBA image into a new comp I'm just going to grab the uh, background that I used a um, kind of a sphere that I created a while ago. It's an image probe, light probe. And I just size it up and blur it out here just to get a, a nice little background going on that matches the reflections that I used for my um, lighting setup. A little color correction on the RGBA image as well, just to get the orange to where I want it. So a little curves adjustment. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull in the motion vectors pass. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it grab the Real Smart Motion Blur Vectors plugin and apply it to the RGBA image as an effect and then tell it to look at the motion pass. And you can see right here you've got some chunky edges and it's not even blurring in the right direction and you may be kicking yourself at this point, but not to worry. Now uh, let's just grab both the RGBA image and the motion vector pass, duplicate it, and we're going to want to pre-comp that. Just go ahead and call it motion or, or whatever. Let's go ahead and delete one of the... So we just want to have the RGBA image as well as the motion vectors pass image. And then, so put the motion vectors underneath the RGBA image. Select the alpha mat from above. And you can see there's black edges around, and what we're going to do is just grab a simple choker and bring that back a little bit. And apply that to the RGBA image as an effect. I'm 
which is the top one, and you can see it choked it down. So now there's no black going on, and we have an alpha on our motion vectors pass. Hop back into the main comp. Now go into the, the Real Smart Motion Blur plugin and point it to the motion pre-comp. And you can see we're still having problems. It's going left and right in all directions. And this is the part that nobody really talks about. Basically, we're going to want to grab our motion vectors pass, right click on it, our sequence, and then say preserve RGB data. And this is something that I found just kind of digging around. And then also set our mat because by default, After Effects reads alphas as pre-multiplied and I rendered out straight. So now what we're getting is a final image with nice motion blur in the right directions and everything's amazing. It's perfect. So yeah, that's basically our tutorial today and uh, thanks for chilling and until next time.